Hi, my name is Mark Meyer, and this is my book report for, bur for a book I read called The Belsky Brothers by Peter Duffy. It is the true story of how three men named Tuvia Azil and Zeus Belsky fought the Nazis, built a village in the forest, and saved 1,200 Jews. Hope you enjoy. Hello, my name is Tomer Karbunka. I'm speaking today with Tuvia Belsky, hero of World War II, sharing with us today his incredible story of survival. Tuvia, could I ask you a couple of questions? Yes. In what ways did the Nazis invade your homeland? By 1941, the Nazis had invaded all of Belarusia, and they immediately started separating Jews from the Belarusians. And they first started to kill Jews in large numbers in the cities, and then this started to happen in the smaller villages in the countryside. My family lived in a rural village called Stankovic, and eventually the horrors of the war would come there and destroy our peaceful lives. How did you feel when fellow friends and family members were murdered? I felt guilty because I couldn't do anything to fight back, and this resulted in losing my parents, my first wife, Sonia, and several other family members, and my youngest brother, Aaron, was also a lonely orphan growing up. What did you do to fight back against the Nazis? In the area around Lida, my brothers, Azil, Zeus, and I hid in the forest. And our youngest brother, Aaron, acted as a messenger between us and our family members who were still in the towns. At times, I was able to avoid capture because I was able to pass myself as a Christian. Because I was able to speak German and Polish very well. Around December 1941, I decided to start forming an army of Jewish partisans. What was your job in the army? I was the leader of our partisan group, so it was my responsibility to keep the people in our forest camp safe, and this was not always easy. We had to fight the Nazis, keep the local peasants from turning us in, satisfy our Russian army leaders, and keep people from our camp fighting with each other because they disagreed with some of the choices I had to make as a leader. What jobs did your brothers have in the army? Azil and Zeus were both fighters. They led their own groups of Jewish partisans, which were fighters as well. They had to find food and bring it to the camp for the Jews that didn't fight so they could be fed. They had the, to fight Nazis and do sabotage missions with the Russian partisans. Or did you have to make any sacrifices? If yes, give examples. Well, yes, we did have to make sacrifices. And so we lost everything we owned and were forced to live in the woods. And worst of all, many of the people we loved and cared for were killed. It was always very hard to get enough to eat. Some days, the best meal we would have is a soup made out of spoiled potatoes. Life was hard, but because there were so few of us, it was very critical that we stay alive to remember those who had died. What are some of the names of people who helped you fight the Nazis? Some people who helped us were Konstantin Kozlovsky, a Belarusian friend of the Belsky family, who helped many escaping Jews find their way safely into the woods, uh, Viktor Panchenkov, who led a Russian partisan group. And he was a fair leader and worked with the Belsky partisans even though we were Jewish. And Vasily, also known as Atten Chernyshev, a top commander in the Russian army, who helped save Azil from being executed for the charge of desertion. What were conflicts you had with other people? Well, the Nazis hated Zeus, Azil, and I because we were Jews and we were helping Jews escape from the ghettos. And despite being Russian partisans, we were still hated by many Russians simply because we were Jewish. And the hardest of all was that Jewish partisans in my camp didn't always agree with how I ran things. How did you survive in the woods? Zeal, Zeus, and I built a village for Jews to hide at. This village was known as a Jerusalem in the woods. Everybody had different jobs. For example, some people were fighters. Non-fighters did useful things for the war effort, such as repair guns and make shoes. At different times, we had to abandon the villages we built because we were discovered by the Nazis. We would have to move to another safe location and start all over again. Surviving was a constant struggle. What was the hardest decision you had to make? 
When one of my partisans disobeyed me, I had to shoot him on the spot. I did this because I was worried that if people started questioning my decisions, I wouldn't be able to keep everyone alive. How did it feel to win battles? Winning battles felt very good because it was the only thing we could do to keep Jews alive and survive the war. One of my own quotes was, I'd rather save one old Jewish woman than kill ten German soldiers. Would Jews continue to get killed even though your army continued to get bigger and stronger? Yes. Our army getting it bigger and stronger was definitely a good thing, but it was small compared to the number of Jews that were getting killed by the Nazis. At the end of the war, how were you able to prevail? Well, despite the Nazis attempting to kill every single Jew, my brothers and I saved 1,200 Jews. How, how much damage was caused by the Nazis? The Nazis <coughs> caused lots of damage. Lots of valuable things in the cities were destroyed. Millions of Jews were killed. Whole villages were destroyed and never rebuilt. Did you have to move to a different country after the war? Yes, because of the damages caused in the cities by the Nazis. Also because so many Jews had been killed. Even though the Nazis had been defeated, we didn't feel very safe because Joseph Stalin, the ruler of Russia at the time, didn't like Jews. So while trying to survive, we would only make more enemies as well. Of my family, Azil died while fighting Germans while in the Russian Red Army. At first, my brothers and their families, and my family and I went to Israel, but then we all moved to America. What do you do for a living today? Because we had been through so much pain during the war, Zeus and I just wanted to live normal lives. Therefore, we chose to have simpler jobs, such as pumping gas, truck driving, and cab driving. Zeus has always been the better businessman, because while cab driving, I sometimes let people ride in my cab for free because I feel sorry for them. I thought this was an amazing book. I hope you enjoyed my book report. Thank you. Good night.